The Cayman Islands getting a weaker hurricane barrel, but still dealing with flooding and storm surge. Some say it's a blessing they didn't get the worst of the hurricane. We started to experience some of the stronger winds sometime around uh, about four in the morning, and then by five it was really blowing for a bit. We had very strong tropical storm force wind. Jamaica, not so lucky, scraped by barrel as a category four. Homes damaged and power knocked out for nearly 65% of customers. ABC's Faith Abube is in Montego Bay. The height of the storm, there were about 400,000 people who were left in the dark. Officials tell us that there were also about 500 people across the island that had to go to government shelters to ride out the storm. Uh, some locals here uh, said that they don't have cell service. One of the major providers here had their towers down, and so they're working through that as well. The U.S. ambassador to Jamaica says they are working with the Jamaican government to assess damage and help with recovery. These lines seen at Montego Bay's airport with growing frustration as people waited with luggage, unsure when flights would resume. It's hot. Many say they are hungry and thirsty. Police handed out water in the heat. Barrel is moving towards Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, expected to impact the resort areas of Cancun and Tulum tonight, with many travelers there hunkering down at resorts. Barrel is expected to eventually weaken to a tropical storm after it crosses the Yucatan Peninsula, but it could re-strengthen before making landfall near the U.S.-Mexico border Monday. Life-threatening rip currents are expected in the Gulf Coast through the weekend. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.